simple and affordable ways to refresh for spring. I don't want to spend any more moments in the apartment. Happy spring everyone! I hope this new season will bring beautiful moments for all of us. As you can tell, today's video is all about spring, spring refresh, spring cleaning. I'm planning also on getting fresh flowers and fun fact, I have never bought flowers for myself. Because if I don't do it now that spring has arrived, when will I do it? With this video, I just want to show you simple ways that you can refresh your apartment for this new season, for spring. You don't need to go all out and and spend money and buy new decor or tons of new plants or maybe new pillows, new throws, etc. You can just work with what you already got and there are some simple ways and affordable ways that you can just refresh your space for spring. So first things first, we are going to clean. We're going to start the spring cleaning and I feel like refreshing your space and just cleaning around, decluttering and organizing is the perfect way to start this new season. Season. I think that moving around your furniture, if you're able to do that, is also a very nice idea to just change up the things in your space. We're going to do that as well. Nothing extreme, but still there's going to be a change, a small one, in my living room. And of course, another major thing that a lot of people do during spring is decluttering. I am the type of person who doesn't really create clutter and I don't bring tons of stuff in my apartment. I'm very mindful about the things that I bring in my apartment. So thankfully, I don't need to do any decluttering, but cleaning, organizing, and just rearranging my space, I will do that. And of course, another great way to make your space feel more alive, more vibrant, is by adding flowers or just a new plant. I know I said before that you don't need to buy tons of new plants, I stick to that, but if you just want to buy a bouquet of flowers or one new plant, that is perfectly fine. But if you want to go ahead and buy a jungle of new plants, that's also perfectly fine. I'm just trying to share simple and affordable ways to refresh for spring in this video. But if you want to go ahead and buy spring decor, more plants, more flowers, you go ahead and do that. I think that everybody should feel calm and inspired in their space. So whatever works for you. What works for me is to have an open, clean space, not too much stuff around because I don't like when this happens. I get very overstimulated and I just cannot deal with tons of stuff. So I keep my space sort of minimal. I'm not a minimalist by any means. And by keeping my space very minimal is also very helpful when it comes to cleaning because I don't need to move tons of things around and I don't need to clean like hundreds of little selves and little decor pieces. My little to-do list for today, for the spring cleaning section, is to put on fresh sheets on our bed, get rid of all the dust, clean the mirrors, clean all the surfaces, vacuum and mop. This is everything in my spring cleaning to-do list, so that's what we're going to do now. Let's begin with the spring cleaning. I hope this will motivate you. If you want to put on this video on the background and do your own spring cleaning, that sounds amazing as well. I have found a playlist that I will be listening while I'm cleaning. It's called Cherry Blossom Lo-Fi Jazz Hop Chill Mix by the channel called The Jazz Hop Cafe. So let's listen to this music and clean. Somebody, I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go about you but sometimes I do cause sometimes I drive through all of the streets we used to on first avenue cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first all of the turns that I had to unlearn back to the surface the feeling of all that we were I don't always think of 
about you till first avenue that's when i do I think there is some construction going on outside. That's the noise that you can hear. The mess. So as you saw, I changed the direction that the table is facing. I'm not sure if I like it. I will have to wait also for my boyfriend to come back from work and I'll ask him. I'm pretty sure he won't like it facing this way because we do sit in this table quite often and I don't think that it is very practical to sit like that because we like sitting in these sides that are, you know, more spacious and this side is okay but this side, you know, no one can sit from this side. So I think that this will have to change, but for now I will leave it like that. What I'm going to do now is to change the way the couch is facing, or should I say I will move this piece on the other side. So I think that that will also open up the space here more, maybe. Let's do that. Alright, I am finally done. I took off my cardigan because I am sweating. This was a workout. The construction is still going on. Can you hear it? I'm sure you can. But I just noticed that there is a small... Actually, there are two small ink stains on my couch. I don't know if you can tell, but what is this? When did I do that? And I'm sure that I did it because I am the only person who is using pens in this household. How did I do that? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I will clean it later, but for now I will change the throw of my couch. So I obviously took off the previous one that I had, the furry one. It was kind of furry, you know, you saw it. And I will change it to my summer, spring, summer throw. This is what I do. I only have two throws, the beige one, fairy one that you saw before, and I have that for fall and winter. And then for spring and summer, I have this white throw. Also, I use as a blanket during winter, as a blanket for the couch. So I'm also going to switch off the throw. This is also a very nice idea for your space. You get only two throws and you use one for the colder months and then you use the other one for the warmer months. Also, I texted my boyfriend and I showed him the, the table and he doesn't like it and you know what? He's right, it's not practical so I'm going to change back. Okay, let's switch up the throw and then I will move the table again. This is, this is a workout, this is a whole workout. And this is the final look of the couch. The throw is too short in order to cover this side as well. So I covered only this side, but I think it looks weird. But what should I do? And my camera is dying. So I will charge it and we will see. It is a bit later, I had my lunch and I finished with pretty much everything. The only thing that needs to be done now is for my robot vacuum to finish vacuuming the bedroom and to mop the bedroom. Other than that, everything else is ready. Also suddenly it is super cloudy, it might even rain, but don't you worry, we will have some sunny days in this vlog for sure. But I wanted to show you the final result. Don't mind my camera's charger back there. So this is how the living room is looking like at the moment. I tried to show off both of the arms of the couch. Is that how it's called? You get what I mean. And I ended up moving the kitchen table again because as I told you before it was not practical. So we'll have it like this. But I think that for the cleaning part I am all done. My hair looks freaking crazy. 
I don't know if you can tell in the camera, frizzy, crazy, crazy hair. But it's okay because the apartment feels clean, it looks nice and I just feel very good now comes to show that you don't need to do anything crazy in order to refresh your space and in order to feel good when you start a new season. But I will sit down to do some work now and I will catch up with you tomorrow. It is a beautiful sunny day, so I am going to grab a cup of coffee. You're coming with me. And I think today is finally the day that I will buy a nice bouquet of flowers because spring is officially here and I just want some fresh flowers in my apartment. And this weather has made me very excited for spring, so I don't want to spend any more moments in the apartment. I got ready and let's head out. Okay, I'm ready. I also have my hat for the sun, gotta hide from that sun, and let's go! construction outside my building is still going strong. They're being kind of loud. I hope you cannot hear them. If you can, I apologize for the noise, but I've been wanting to make my own strawberry milk, homemade strawberry milk. I have my ingredients right here. It's a very simple recipe. This is the first time that I will try it out. I hope it will be good. I hope it will be tasty. But all I'm going to need, or all you're going to need if you're going to make it as well, is some almond milk or regular milk if you drink that, some strawberries. I have about six frozen strawberries here. They can be also regular strawberries. They don't have to be frozen. And you're also going to need some honey, a blender, smoothie, machine, blender, mixer, and that's pretty much all you're going to need. I've seen other people add sugar instead of honey, but I want to add honey and not sugar. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try to make a strawberry milk and let's see if it's going to taste good. Let's make it. I'm going to try it out. First of all, it feels ice cold. Obviously, it is ice cold because the milk was cold and the strawberries were frozen. I also added a little strawberry here to make it all cute. But let's try it. Okay, it is very refreshing, but it's not something that I would want to have daily. But it is good. I will drink it slowly because I don't want to hurt my stomach with this ice cold refreshment because I am the type of person who doesn't drink ice cold drinks during winter, spring, fall. If it's not super warm, I just don't drink cold drinks because it just makes me feel weird. Also, by adding honey, it's a 
healthier option because the strawberries are not that sweet the ones that I have so it feels a bit sour not too much because both the almond milk and the honey add sweetness if you want to have it even sweeter I would suggest that you add either more honey or sugar but yeah I will finish this and I will do some work. I think I'm all done with my spring refresh and I also love the flowers that I got. It just makes the space so much nicer and more beautiful. I just feel happy looking at them. And now I think I need to say goodbye because the construction outside is super loud. The cars passing by are super loud as well. And I think that that would be all for today's video. I hope this video inspired you to do your own spring cleaning, to maybe buy some flowers for yourself, to get in the spring mood. I hope you're all doing great. Thank you very much for watching my video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys!